Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. It's been a long time, been a long time, been a long, lonely, 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 lonely time. But I'm here. I'm here to show you a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes happening in this house, guys. Okay, so, well, okay, for the longest time, let's start with this. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? This is the, what I've always wanted to make forever in a day. Well, that's not what it's called, but forever in a day, ever since I started crocheting, I've, all, I've ever since this came out. This is the, um, the perfect pocket shawl design by Sonia Hood. And uh, so I finally, I finally bought it. And I'm finally trying to make it. I'm using my yarn. My Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa yarn. Mako Mona Lisa. Uh, what's the color? Uh, it's a color number. So, um, yeah. And I'm using a number nine hook. For Lisa, that's a big hook. Like, that's a gigantic hook. I'm usually using... A 5.5 is my is my go-to hook but I was so excited to make this and I stole my yarn from a from a Mary Maxim kit that I got for a beautiful blanket stole it from that and started making this beauty and you're saying oh doesn't that look gorgeous Lisa oh that's so gorgeous yeah, we'll wait to hear my story. So Lisa got cocky. I thought everybody else does and everybody else can watch movies and crochet and I can't, I can't, I can't guys. I just, just can't. So here I am and this is my couch that I sit on and I usually have this blanket on, on top of me and I usually have pillows here. And so, uh, I'm on my, I think my fourth ball of this yarn. Um, yeah, I've got to frog it back. Or actually, I think I started frogging it back. Because it is so wonky, guys. I started out with 176. Yeah, 176 chains, right? You know, when you go back and forth. Well, I was fine. I was fine doing this. And then, as you can see, it's gone all, and this is not a matter of, you know, pulling out your yarn and um, blocking it. It's not a matter of that at all. I dropped down to 69 s stitches. I'm like, what? What have I been doing? Why? Well, what was going on is here I am on my couch crocheting, because you got to go long ways. It's one of those that you go you know, the long way back and forth, not, not here back and forth. So I'm crocheting, getting all cocky that I can, oh, look at me, I'm watching a movie. Oh, I got into watching uh, on Netflix, no, on Amazon Prime, um, The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, guys, did I binge watch that or did I binge watch that? Holy jeepers. So anyway... So, you know, it's on your lap, right? Here, let me see if I can show you guys. So I'm here and it's on my lap and I'm crocheting along and then, you know, you go, you know, and you're going and you're going and you're going and then you hit the end and then, you know, you flip it, right? And then you start going again. So I'm not paying attention because it's all under my arm and I'm just... Being a big wig here, being all Lisa professional, watching a movie and going along. So, yeah, let me put it on the floor for you guys so you can actually see. Hang on. Oops, sorry. Taking you for a little bit of wow ride. Wild child. Okay, if I put this down on the floor. Actually, I think I have ripped out some of this. <clears throat> already yeah here we go here I'll take you for a little yeah I mean what whoops where are you 
I mean, what is that? Can you see? Look at that. What on earth? <laughs> Do you think I'm a little out or what? Oh, but I'm just a groove and a, look at that. But here I am. I'm just a groove and groove and grooving along. <laughs> so maddening. So maddening. So now I, I, I got to frog this back like, good heavens, to day one. I mean, yeah, like I said, I've got three. Is this my third ball or my fourth ball of this? But I was so excited to finally be able to make this. Because I know this was the big thing a few years ago. And, uh, yeah. Because, I, actually, I think what happened was... Look at that, eh? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, what a shame. I'll do it again, though. I'll do it again. Um... And I think at one point when I was, when I was crocheting this, I'll move it up for you guys to see. Look, I don't know if this is the inside, inside or outside. Oh, I, that's probably on, it's probably the outside. Yeah, anyway. Um, uh, yeah, so I think at one point I saw it going off a little wonky. And I thought, oh, okay, well, then I'll just add another stitch or two. And then I went back and forth, and I'm just totally engulfed in this. Like I, if I watch a movie, I've got to be focused. Nobody can talk around me. I, like, I'm, I'm one of those people that if I'm focusing on something, I need 100% focus. I can't be distracted. I can't, or it's like, pause, pause, rewind. What do they say? Yeah, I'm a totally... Whoosh, um, focused person. <laughs> I pay attention. Yeah, what a shame. What a shame. Because I am done it. Yeah, I, I am done it. I think I just have to do the border around it. I think I just have to do the border around it. And do, I'm on the pocket part of it. So, yeah. And I, and I was thinking, well, maybe I could just leave it and but I'm I'm like Lisa don't be because I thought well maybe I'll just leave it and and do a flowy board, border around it I don't know I think it's too it's too wonky well now that I'm looking at it maybe I I don't know maybe I'll cheat the system I don't want to frog it maybe I'll cheat the system <laughs> what would you guys do well I think now that I've pulled back some rows I don't know I get it yeah, if you pull it, you kind of pull it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess if you, I don't know, if you kind of pull it and maybe it wouldn't look that bad. I don't, yeah, if I pulled it, if I really blocked it hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, yeah, so before that, I had seen a video pop up oh I, for, I forget now I forget what it was but um basically she took she did the the C to C she made two C to C's big C to C's and then she sewed them both together for a fabulous color phasing color fading phase whatever thing but I got a whoops, sorry about that noise. I got all wonky donkey on that too. So I ripped it back. I ripped it back to where I got really wonky. Oh no, there's there's another there's another Yeah, what is this? <laughs> there's another wonky. But you know what? Maybe I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. <laughs> oh, I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. I'll just leave it, and there you go. There's my, there's my shawl. There I am in my shawl. Okay. There. What do you think of me now? And where the wonky? Where's my wonkiness? There's my wonkiness. Maybe I'll say, oh, I'm wonky over there too. You know what? This was intentional. There we go. 
I created, <laughs> there you go. I created a new pattern. I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, there you go, I created a new pattern. Oh, that's tiny. I like big, I like big shawls. How do you guys do it? Oh, there we go. There. There. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to frog this back. I'm too lazy. There, maybe if I put, can you really see it? It was, in, I'll pretend it was intentional and it was supposed to be like that. And then I'll add, I don't know. <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah, little Miss Professional Crocheter Lisa has not been too uh, professional. There we go. Look at me. Well, that's nice, isn't it? This one I use the, uh, this here yarn, the Karen stuff here. Oh yeah, and actually, yeah, I got a story for you. So I had a lot more. I had a lot more. I've I've um, frogged this back a whole bunch, and as I was frogging it back, and I was being gentle, I wasn't pulling a Lisa Fitzer on it, and uh, it tore. It just like I was. You know, frogging back, frogging back, and it just tore off somewhere. Oh, yeah, so if it tore off somewhere, then I can't... There it is. There's my tear-off. There, do you see my tear-off? Here. Let me see if I can show you guys. No, I need something dark. There's my tear-off. It just tore... Like, it just... Look. Just see that, guys? Yeah. So, yeah, you don't want to be pulling your. And I wasn't going crazy, huh, Lisa, like I usually do. Oh, and so now I'm. Yeah. Now it's. Oh, yeah. Now it's like molded in. I can't get this. Oh, yeah. That's what happened, yeah. I can't leave it like this because it'll fall apart. So it's, I gotta cut it. Like it's melted, melted in there. It's melted onto, like look, it's melted on. Yeah, so I can't leave that, can I? Hmm, so then I was like, okay, Lisa, you can't do big projects. You, you just can't. So, I said, you know what, why don't you make up, why don't you make up a bunch of, uh, washcloths, dishcloths, dishcloths, so I did, I did the, the Easy Suzette washcloth by Amanda Crochets, I followed her tutorial, I'll link her below, and I used the yarn that I was gifted a few years ago, um, Twisted Cotton, uh, twisted, twisted cotton blend by Lion Brand, and I'm not a fan of this yarn. I'd have to say, you definitely need a big hook to when you use this. Let me see if I could, because it's got all these bumpies on it. So yeah, you need you need a big hook when you're crocheting. What did I use? Well, I didn't use an enormous hook. I used a six millimeter crochet hook. Um, yeah, because it, uh, to get over those bumps and when you're pulling through like a single crochet and, or what did I do? Whatever the Suzette stitch is. I know you guys know what it is. I think it's a single and a double. Um, yeah, so to get pulling through your stitches with that yarn, that bump creates enough of a deterrent for me that it's hard to pull through. So not a fan of this yarn, can't really go, can't really fly through fast crochet. And then when it came to the end, 
and I had to sew in my ends. So I've, you know, I've got my yarn and now I'm going to put it through the, those, the needles you get, you know, you're sewing in needles. And then I was going through the stitches. And so all my, all the bumps on this yarn kept getting caught. And it was really hard for me to sew in my ends with that yarn. So I did it. It is what it is. And these are ginormous. These are ginormous um, washcloths. I wouldn't use this. I don't know. It's really rough. I guess in the shower, you could really use this yarn to exfoliate. But I guess this would be more of a dish, a dish cloth, because it's this is this is a rough, a rough yarn and bumpy. So yeah, that's all I uh, I've I've been doing. Actually, I got this yellow one out because I'm going to make a yellow one now to match. And these are big. I think they ended up measuring 12, 13 inches, these ones. This one, anyway. Yeah. So there you go. There's the Suzette stitch. Yeah. It was an easy, it, it was an easy enough one to do. I'm not, I don't really do, I think I've only crocheted maybe six Bosch dishcloths slash dishcloths in my whole entire life. <coughs> I'm more of a person that, like when I first started, I was making hats and then I instantly went and I started crocheting baby dresses. <laughs> I went on that kick when I first began. I was so proud of myself. So yeah, Lisa's in a bit of a crochet funk, just, um, I don't know. I think my problem is I've got so much that I want to do and... I'm just starting, 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 starting stuff. And then it's like, now nah, I want to do that. I want to do that. And then finding the perfect yarn for that perfect project, right? Like, yeah, I've got yarn, you know, but, you know, you go to make something and then you go look through your stash and it's like, yeah, but that yarn, no. And you, you're looking through your yarn and it's like, yeah, but I don't have that yarn for that thing that I want to make. <laughs> so I got to go start, well, which I have been doing. I've been like going to my yarn and looking at it and going, okay, I want to make something with this. And then I specifically set out to find something to make specifically with that yarn. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's it in a nutshell. I still haven't opened, oh, speaking of yarn, I still have not opened the yarn, the beautiful yarn. Lisa went, Lisa went a little cuckoo and bought expensive yarn. Yeah, I did. I've been wanting this yarn for like three years, two years, whatever. I, I, I got it. It's sitting over there. It's so pretty. Well, it should be pretty, according to her website. But I'll show you that, guys, in another video. Everybody have a great day. Are you uh, struggling? And oh, Are you making pretty things? And is everything that you're crocheting working out for you? Or are you being a struggle muffin? Yeah, I don't want to make... I don't know. I... <clears throat> I don't want to make a washcloth dishcloth because it's so it, it's boring to me. It's really boring to me. But I think I got to slow the brain down and just sit and crochet a washcloth too. And then, and so I can have it in, because I'm an instant gratification girl. So I get onto these things. I want to make this. And then you watch the tutorial and, and you know, the tutorials are like 30 minutes or an hour long. And you're like, Oh, I can make that in an hour. And it's like, no, you can't. <laughs> these people aren't sitting with you the whole friggin' time you're making, you know, like a pocket shawl. That friggin' video would be <laughs> two days long. So no, Lisa, ooh, think about it. You're watching a tutorial where they say, and carry on. And so you carry on for 20 rows without them. But I see a vid video tutorial and I, I watch it. I go, oh, that looks easy. That looks fast. I'm going to get that done in a day. <laughs> Lady. What planet were you born on? All right, guys. I'll let you go. Go skedaddle around the YouTube streets. See what's going on. What's today? Today's Saturday, February something. This week, this Monday is uh, 
family day. Actually, I don't work this, this year. Uh, which means if I don't work, then I don't get paid the time and a half. Hmm, bummer. Oh, well. Not that I'm doing anything family day-ish. My family my family is in uh, Alberta and, and the UK. Well, I mean, my mom's here. My other brothers and sisters are here. But Okay, guys, I just noticed out the window it was we were having another flurry, flurry, McFlurry. But it's stopped now and it's sunny again. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. I got to do my unboxing video, don't I? Of my expensive yarn that is so gorgeous. And I've... I got to do that. Bye.